ओम शांति बाबा हैज लव फॉर इच वन ऑफ अस ही मेक्स अस हाईएस्ट ऑन हाई holiest of holy most elevated children this baba's love that he makes us so elevated worthy children so it's not just question of feeling love from baba but we should think of was he is giving us what he is making us we never had thought in our lives that we can be so elevated baba has created a special age conference age for us so we must maintain all the time the awareness that i am not in iron age i am at confluence age preparing to go to golden age because iron age kalyu is really iron age climax of five vices negative impure vibrations very very tamoguni energy so by reminding yourself and then living at confluence age always remember i am at confluence age at confluence age baba has given us knowledge make us feel our original home whenever i need complete silence total rest for the soul just go to your home supreme abode param dham shanti dham nirvan dham people do so much sadhana to go to mukti liberation but baba says place of liberation is your sweet home so i can take my mind and intellect there and just in the presence of baba take total total rest for the soul your mind is in silence i am also free from the vibrations of iron age world kalyu so maintaining awareness of confluence age and go to home sweet home 
experience complete freedom from all bondages. So this is Baba's love for us to show us the path And within a second, become aware of yourself. As a peaceful and pure, pure soul, and go to sweet home. So let us all go to sweet home. Home of silence, liberation, All of us originally come from there and we have to return there. So let us go now to sweet home to experience sweet silence, total freedom. Baba's love is to be with Baba in sweet home. Let us take Drishti from Baba and we travel home. Detached from the body. Going beyond these five elements. There is six element of light.
and within that element there is subtle regions where i can meet baba in angelic form and then to above that is where is element of light where we souls reside sweet home Baba Dishti takes us beyond everything physical. So now, as incorporeal being, a soul. I am at home. Om Shanti, welcome to series Confluence Age from Brahmin, a life of love and blessings. Today is day 15 and also as we had started yesterday our Avikti journey. Yesterday was day 1, today is day 2. So after Didi's sharing, we will be seeing our score and also taking our chart together and um, we will have practice for tomorrow also. So please stay with us and let's hear from Mohini Didi. Om Shanti. Yeah, we had been experiencing Baba's love. Actually, Baba's love is not just for feeling love. But what he is doing for us, what he is making us, is God's love. In Lokik way, parents will think for each child, this one should become doctor, the other one should become engineer, all qualified. But Baba makes us most elevated. Baba has said Manmoli, highest on high, holiest of holy. So every moment feel Baba's love what is he making us? What is he giving us? Knowledge, 
peace, happiness, all the treasures. So what is he giving? What is he making us? And also in present life, giving us the aim not only to be elevated, but then to serve. People like to do uh, whenever there are crises or difficulty or even otherwise some voluntary work, social work. They like to do some charity. But we are constantly doing charity with Baba. Just imagine a life where you are donating you are doing charity all the time through our thoughts, through our words, through our actions, always giving good wishes, sharing pure drishti, giving knowledge through words, and most important is creating very pure vibrations, peaceful vibrations. So we are actually constantly at service. Even whatever we have to do, working or karma yoga, it's not we only sit and do this, but all the time we are busy, but still we are serving. Where is there, wherever there is opportunity, we just share blessing. We share good wishes. So one should feel so, uh, not only I'm experiencing love for Baba, but very joyful inside, very happy, content. What could be better than this? Think of something which is better any kind of service, any kind of life, which is better than our life. This is Baba's love, no? Sometimes some say, I don't feel Baba's love. I said, Baba's love is real, practical. <laughs> it's not only a question of, no? that Baba says, I love you, then we feel it. But what he is giving us, what he is making us, and what he is making us do in our life is so elevated, so great, so unique. This is Baba's love. This is Baba's love. At every step, we feel it. Even uh, look at now the centers we cannot go. But Baba has come to us, right? Every home Baba is visiting, right? We are together. No one is alone. Big family. All this is Baba's love. In practical, love in practical. Now, when it comes to this feeling of love all the time, all the time, feeling of love all the time helps us to be very loving and kind to all the souls. Because if we look at this, world cycle as a drama. Yeah, Baba says drama. So what is in drama? Actors. And every actor of drama is important. When you begin drama, even if one actor hasn't arrived, you can't start drama. Every part in drama Every actor's role in drama is necessary, 
is special and is important. First is necessary. Each one of us, we are needed by Baba. So my love towards every actor, without thinking there's a small role or a big role this actor is playing. I have to look at everyone by having these pure thoughts. We need you. We all need each other. If there is a very, very big machine for something and suddenly stop working and we find that very little part is not working, has broken, very little, maybe the screw or something. Unless we get that part, whole machine will be sitting right without functioning. So deep within this feeling, not through intellect only, I say, oh, you are also most valuable. You are also needed. But in my attitude, my drishti, I should look at everyone, as I said, necessary first. You are needed. You are important. You are needed. You are important. Your part is also very important. So we cannot see anyone Oh, this one has a big part, this one has a small part. Hmm. Or they, as Baba had mentioned, some people, their names are more known, more popular, doesn't matter. So my love towards everyone, and that is called respect everyone from heart, not only externally, Everyone is necessary. Everyone is special. Everyone. No two are the same kind, right? Everyone is special. And third is, everyone is important. Everyone has importance. So a lot of people talk about equality. We should have some drishti. What is samdrishti? Equal vision is that everyone is necessary. Everyone is special. And everyone is important. So if this is in my attitude and drishti, I think that all the souls will feel belonging and respected. So if Baba is giving me such a self-respect, but just to even have thought, oh, I am a special actor. I'm a very important one. But it should be, we all are very important. We all are needed in this drama. Even one actor <laughs> doesn't appear, doesn't play part. We can't have drama. So this feeling of belonging and respect is a big sustenance within the family. No one should ever feel uh, neglected. No one. Nobody is. Stay in your self-elevated self -elevated self-respect. When you are in your self-elevated respect, you are able to receive from others. But if you are in ordinary awareness, not elevated, then you will be very sensitive, thinking, oh, this one is important, this one is like that. So we all stay in self-respect, give self-respect to others and think of this as we all are actors in drama. And same when it comes to that we are one family, world family. 
in family there is a bond and it's not that everyone is same in the family five members of the family everyone is different but there yes is family this one is my brother this one is my sister and my mother is a family so this care yesterday i was mentioning this is a family one time someone was asking about what about older people when i go old then become old age age what happens so one important thing is that because we belong to baba no of course like in madhuban in shanti when they have created this senior cities and so on which always some or other remain full till whenever they find that you no know, why should they staying with lokik so they have doctors they have social activity and we have one couple from here they live there they are so happy but also if you remain in self respect baba will always always take care of you it's not in lokik you know sometimes when you are aged then parent children or oh, what to do with that this one so i hope you were reflecting right what i was saying one thing we have to learn is why listening if i agree i am accepting put it in your attitude drishti and see how you feel that means how much true love will there be in your heart for everyone not only love but yesterday i talked about care today i'm talking about respect you will respect everyone of course in our interaction when i was young i was to anyone who is older to me even one year six months always thought this one is senior to me but now it is not only age but even otherwise even little children more you respect them they will love you they will respect you they will love you they will respect you. but if you think children they they don't know anything they know more than you mm-hmm. children mm-hmm. and then because of their purity even they are innocent but whatever they say comes out true <laughs> but same children are our ancestors right from the last birth they are our grandparents uncle aunt it's a, so you can't treat them as a child and as doesn't know anything knows everything so deeply within love should change into respect now it doesn't matter if somebody appreciate that respect or not but my record i always look at baba and say he is my teacher he keeps my register others also try to keep my register but i don't it's okay my record my register is with baba and this gives you lot this way you don't look at the result or opinions of others no all the time mm-hmm. 
how everyone looks at me, but how Baba looks at me. Because I always keep respectful relationship with others. So Baba gives me marks. No one can give me marks. <laughs> Final marks, Baba will go. I can get remarks, but not marks from others. Remarks means their opinion. But that also, you will get beautiful, beautiful remarks. Someone wanted me to do something and I said, I will do it, but it should be it should come in the right way from the right people in the sense of those who have responsibility. And she said, oh, I know you believe in your principles. You like to live by principles. I said, but then life is easy. No? Any kind of principles you observe, life becomes easy. So Baba's love for us, then our love for others. Comes through respect. Now Brahma Baba, highest authority in Yagya, he respected mothers. In the end of Murli, once he was going, came back and said, folded his hands and said, salutation to mothers. Because Baba knows that mothers are playing the part, sustain the yagya. I mean, now is, of course, we have brothers, sisters, but in the beginning, in 1951, when they came to Mount Kavu, all sisters went into different cities. No, mothers don't have income, right? They don't have money. So they used to get limited money to buy groceries and household things. So when first group of eight mothers came, they were from a village. Some brought little bit sugar, little bit rice, little bit beans, little bit grains, little bit. Just imagine for yagya what they brought. But after some times, of course, so they became the instrument to sustain the yagya at the time when there was really the need. So Baba appreciated the role of mothers. And then Baba said that hundred shakti is five pandavas. So importance of pandavas also is there. So Baba gave a lot of respect to everyone. And it's very, very interesting to see that how oh, there was a, Baba had a gardener, old man. In those days, he used to come take care of flowers and, you know, many, whatever we used to grow there. And Baba will go with him to look at plants, look at trees, look at mango trees, look at... So one thing Baba taught us to have love also with nature. Because imagine if there is no cultivation, no farmers, there, there won't be any food, right? So sun is important, air is important, water is important. 
earth is important all five elements are important to keep our body sustained right so for us now when we are talking about these things transformation some improvement and you should feel that oh i am different today from yesterday because i was more caring i we give example that if food is cooked we offer to baba and you just give somebody food like you know not in a proper way but then someone comes to say okay sit and serve properly it's a different feeling right so caring and then respecting it could be both because i care i respect because i respect i care for him so first you practiced amongst yourself in the family husband wife or baba's children as you girl practice that care no attachment care and also respect like for me in my life i never say anyone i don't know in english is different i never say to anyone tu or tum i always say up you know baba say sometimes even our words should be very respectful you say baitho sit baithiye no please sit you don't say please but the way it is said so in hindi we have lot of words also which are more of respect and etiquette because as i had been mentioning that words which we use are of great importance always always use lot of encouraging anyone who is doing something good wishes encouragement because it's baba's task anyone can become instrument and do it but there is subtle kind of something there we are not able to appreciate appreciation for every actor of drama for everyone who is doing something for baba and when there is appreciation my duty baba has given has in asked me to keep people's register right or to look at someone's defects no it's not my duty baba has in given me this duty baba says no look at everyone's specialty everyone's special role as i said so this heart from heart with love you are respecting with love you are the way baba loves me and how much he respects him what i was when i came to baba i was young but the way he respected he made me feel i am big and like he became equal to me hmm? baba daughter what do you think daughter what do you think i used to say why baba is asking me i am so young i don't have experience but because he wanted me to grow like that hmm? that is why there is a saying inclusiveness these days is a word inclusiveness let everyone be feel part of everything and that is in the beginning we call it thinking partners whatever thought you have you share with others then automatically others will like that thought it will it will be easy to get it implement because everyone is thinking in the same way but some people have difficulty there then they're not able to 
like what I am finding while working with the team here, there is this flow of love, flow of respect. So before I say anything, they already planned something. They don't give me chance even to say, okay, let's take break, no? Because they are already ready with something more. But because of the love and respect, joy, there's no tiredness. This is what my experience is, that love makes everything which brings joy and joy is something which helps you to continue and be together. Lot of joy then in doing also. So all of us, we think of Baba's love and joy which brings, Baba's love brings joy. I have to remain joyful by every minute thinking what am I? Look at this, what Baba gave me. Look at it. Every moment at this time we are passing is amazing. Baba taking care of us and then what we have to do? <laughs> that is why every time I ask him, are you all well? Are you all okay? Is there anything anyone wants? Baba's Bandara is always full. Because Baba's Bandara is your Bandara. No? You all fill it and you share with others. Every center sisters are writing me. Because they don't go out. Brothers, sisters, they bring vegetables, they leave it by the door. They bring this, they leave it by the door. Every sister. And then now, because it can't happen, so we also make some extra bow. Few day, few can come every Thursday, take the bow, put it in the bag, and they take it. <laughs> so it's really, really amazingly how we are one family, and we all are very happy and joyful, right? So before was contentment, and now is love. In Brahmin life. So never, never because of any reason feel I'm lonely, no. Baba and the family, we all are together and we will stay together all the time. And now, because we are doing some practical drill also, you know, I'm sure everyone is feeling some changes in you every day, right? Even if some write, some don't write. But those who write, I can just feel everyone is feeling some change, some transformation. Right? Okay. Om Shanti. directions we will be traveling to three subtle destinations. Are you all ready? Our first stop is the Daily Soap Activity. You will be given a practice for the entire day. For example, Practice being the jewel of contentment and trade Drishti from Baba for five times a day. Our next stop is questions from Mohini DDG. This is a check-in point to see how much you have learned from Didi's class. Our final stop. Yay! At this stop, we will check our brain.
Brahmin schedule. Fill out the Zoom poll at the end and check your personal progress. That's all from Amrit Villa tonight. Follow Baba's treatment and earn the best marks. Are you all ready to become perfect? Yeah! Our goal together is to get 100% in all these activities. Let's do it! individual activities. Now, are you all ready to see our overall average? Om Shanti. So that was the result from our day one yesterday. 385 BKs submitted their chart yesterday. And that was the result out of the whole thing, all three questions. And that's the score just now you saw. And now let's get ready for our today's chart. So put your chart here together. Anyway, so let's... Uh, start our chart for the day so you see the first question is from our daily brahmin routine today at amritvela did i sit in front of baba how was my amritvela what percentage i would like to give to myself for especially for today's amritvela okay so please rank yourself so first one is, yes, I did Amritvela, and I would like to percentage myself in between 80 to 100. Second one is, yes, I did 60 to 80, 40 to 60, and 10 to 40. And if, because of any reason, if I missed Amritvela, just be honest and just say, I didn't do it, and I missed it. Okay? So be honest. Huh? And answer this question for today's Amritvela. How was your Amritvela? Okay, once you answer this, you press the button next. Okay, once you say next, you will see the second question. So in second question, it will be, it is about our uh, practice for the day. So yesterday, our Vekti Balak and Vekti Balika gave us one practice. What was the practice? That today, whenever we uh, dial in to anybody or receiving any calls, we will do five second drill, which Baba always tells us to do. So did I do that every time? Did I forget? Uh, so just check yourself and did I complete at least 10 times? If it is more than 10, that's great. But did I do at least 10 times or less? 9 times, 8 times, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So just be honest and select one of that. Okay, so once you select, press button next. This is the last question and this question is from yesterday's Didi's sharing. So from Didi's class, what can we say to people to have a feelings of belonging? So there are four options for you. God bless you. Second, follow Srimad. Third, give knowledge 
and fourth to meditation so which one do you think is should be the answer out of this four so we give you a few more minutes and please answer all these three questions and once you do this you can submit but make sure you select one of the option if you don't select any option you won't be able to see the button in the bottom say submit and if you haven't pressed the button submit your chart is not received here so just be make sure because yesterday some of uh, uh, some were asking me i was not able to see and i was not able to submit but that's the reason if you have put in some option if you have selected and it will allows you to submit okay so now we will close and uh, i would like to invite our avyakti balak and avyakti balika to give us the practice for tomorrow please welcome Om Shanti brother how are you is everything good you know brother i've seen such a good quality in you you are so punctual and because you are so punctual you finish everything before time and i'd really like to learn that from you i'm great sister how are you thank you for the appreciation sister you are very really humble and kind i would like to learn these qualities from you So as you heard my conversation with my sister call five people in your connection and tell them their special quality I hope it's clear now so what we are doing tomorrow is tomorrow you I'm sure I know that we are uh, at home we are not going out so we are not pe- meeting people much but you can call at least five people and let them know about their one speciality so it's not that you call and tell them oh i'm calling you just to telling you that your speciality you just call in general you talk to them you appreciate their speciality and just be natural okay it is that we had to call five people talk to them with so much love and respect and talk about their speciality okay om shanti i think that uh, it will help us very simple practices but uh, i think it's good like i even today uh, tried to have five second drill it was very interesting and gradually that becomes the stage and then the vibrations we will become embodiment and the vibrations our presence will create lot of lot of powerful vibrations for others so let's remember baba and we look forward now for each day om shanti <laughs>
Okay. Om Shanti. Thank you. Good night, everyone. It was wonderful. Shanti. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Om Shanti.